Games are a great way to relax and de-stress after a hard day of work, school, or whatever. But not everybody has money, and I've seen that around my community, so I want to go ahead and share 10 free cozy games that you can enjoy if you're a cozy gamer that's a little strapped for cash. Please note that all these games are free, but if you really enjoy the games, a lot of these games allow you to go ahead and tip the developers. So you do appreciate the game, please go ahead and show your support by tipping them. Hello, hello, my name is Denise, welcome back to my humble abode. I share cozy indie games on this channel and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this make sure to press the like button and subscribe let's get on with the first recommendation P.E. Noir is a point and click adventure game set in Sunnyside Elementary School where you play as a hard-boiled hall monitor the halls of Sunnyside Elementary School are crawling with shady characters that need to be kept in line and students in need of your help as you straighten out the riffraff and help students in need you'll meet a variety of characters with interesting personalities reminiscent of your elementary school days mixed with elements from noir film. It is a browser-based game, so as long as you have access to the internet, you should be able to play it. P Noir was actually the first game that I found while I was on my search for like free games for this video. It really attracted me because it's like such a funny combination where like it combines noir film cliches and elementary school aesthetic. And it's really funny to see all the children just like act super serious, like these hard-boiled characters, even though it's an elementary school and it's really not all that serious. And fun fact, P Noir was created by Picogram, who also created Garden Story, which is a game that I'm playing about a little grape, and it's just so, so cute. It was a game that I played in my last video, if you saw. I'll, I'll put it in the description so you can see that. But it's such a cute game. I haven't gotten too far right now, but Garden Story is absolutely beautiful, wonderful. Go ahead and check it out if you have the budget to. Do you like romance? And do you love reality TV shows? Then the next game is perfect for you. The Bachelor is a rat dating sim that follows a similar premise to the beloved Long Run TV show, The Bachelor. But instead of a cast of humans, you have a cast of rats. You play as an eligible rat looking for love, and in this game, you'll get to know each of the 21 lovely contestants vying for your attention through intimate conversations. After each round, you will choose who to eliminate, leaving only the most compatible rat suitors. Finally, at the end of your emotional journey, you will find your rat soulmate. This is another browser-based game that should be playable by just about anybody with internet access. Now, if you enjoy The Bachelor, you're definitely gonna enjoy the Rashler as well. I don't really watch The Bachelor, but I do love watching Bachelor Fan Take, who summarizes The Bachelor. It is a lot shorter, and it, it just makes more sense for me. But anywho, th th I digress. The Bachelor is an amazing game. I absolutely love learning about each of the rats. Each of the rats have like a very specific and unique personality that is just like the wackiest and the best. The only thing they're missing is, you know, like when in The Bachelor, the ladies or the, the guys are like, Sorry, can I steal him for a sack? <laughs> This definitely is like a very simple game, but I enjoyed it so freaking much and hopefully you enjoy it as well. There's also a season two of The Bachelor if you enjoyed the first one. I actually think season two or the second game is much better than the first game because the variety of characters is way crazier and it's just so much fun learning about each of the characters. The characters get crazier and weirder. So it's definitely fun to just like learn about each of the characters and interact with them in like kind of a fun, wacky way. I mean, there's only three options that you can choose, but even so, their responses? Mm, chef's kiss. Loved it. Do you like cats? If you say yes, then you're in luck because I have a whole bunch of cats coming your way in the next game. Six Cats Under is a point-and-click game where you are grandma who had an unfortunate accident and became a ghost. Unfortunately, your precious cats are still in the house with no way to get out. The goal of the game is to rescue your herd of cats by directing them with your poltergeist powers. This game is accessible to just about anybody with access to the internet once again, since it is a browser-based game. Six Cats Under is perfect if you're a little bit of a cat lady or cat cat dude. <laughs> Because the grandma is a cat lady and even though it was kind of sad that she passed away, I think the little bits of commentary from ghost grandma is like so cute and like, ugh, so wholesome. Like she's just like talking about her cats and you know she loves her kitties. Anyways, please play this game. So cute, adorable, and very relaxing. Not that long, but just enough to like de-stress, relax, chill out, 
Are you bad at making friends? But don't worry, I have a perfect game for you that will help teach you how to befriend anybody. Yuto Ichika Makes Friends is an adventure game that continues the story of Yuto Ichika from a previous game called Super Ledge Hop. In previous games, she found out that she was a bootleg version of a much stronger magician, fought alongside her friend Chizuru to escape government forces trying to arrest them, and learned how to travel to other worlds. In this installment, Yuto is ready to go home to her world, but wants to say goodbye to her missing friend Chizuru one last time before she leaves. Along the way, she explores a town of thugs and befriends a bunch of criminals and crazy people. This is a browser-based game, so you can play it as long as you have internet access. So Yuto Ichika Makes Friends is a continuation of a another game, which is a continuation of another game. So like the story continues on after each game, but you don't really need to play all the other games to kind of understand the plot line. I went in there kind of blind. I was just like, you know, just like testing the waters, seeing how to go. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I thought it was like a very cute and wholesome, even though you like befriend some serial killers. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, it's it's still a very wholesome experience. So definitely try this game out. And if you're ever like wondering, like, darn, I'm I'm so perturbed. I need to like know the entire plot line, but I don't want to play all the games. You can go ahead check the character wiki that the developer created. I'll link it in the description below so you can read all that lore that we all love reading, or some of us love reading. I do, <laughs> but. It'll It'll be in the description if you want to go ahead and check that out. This game is very out of pocket though, do have to warn you. <laughs> Sometimes adulting can be kind of annoying, and in the next game, it'll show you exactly that, but in a fun, lighthearted way of course. In adulting, you play as an adult who just survived the work week. It's finally Saturday, but before you can kick back and relax for the weekend, there are a couple of things that you have to accomplish on your to-do list, which includes buying coffee filters, calling your parents, filing tax returns, taking the dog for a walk, and return an overdue library Book. Along the way, you'll encounter some setbacks and extra hurdles, but that's part of adulting. Adulting is a Game Boy homebrew game, but it's also playable on the browser. If you really enjoy it, you can even get a physical cartridge of the game, which I've linked in the description below. This game is so fun, period. That's all you need to know. But other than that, I as an adult can attest that adulting is real life, but it is a very cozy, cute game, and I think it represents adulting quite well, where you have to do a lot of like little annoying things before you can actually relax so sometimes you don't even have time to relax so it's like a little stressful this next game is perfect if you just need to like chill out relax and take a breather residents of the ocean is a chill adventure puzzle game set at the edge of a desolate island in this beautiful hand-drawn game you can pick up what the waves wash ashore to make instruments and use those instruments to answer the echoes heard from beyond the ocean it is currently available on the pc and mac i know i've said this about almost all the games but residents of the ocean is seriously beautiful it is a hand-drawn game and you can really tell it looks absolutely scrumptious and beautiful and ah oh, love it it is super relaxing especially because you're going to be like using all these like washed up items on the beaches and like just kind of combining things to make new sounds and it's not a very difficult game and easily enjoyable as like a short little game but i enjoyed it just exploring the little beach and then just like walking around trying th different things ah oh, such a good time especially when you're like tired you should definitely play this game when you're tired because ugh, blew my stress away <laughs> if you like games like a short hike where you're just like exploring the world relaxing meeting new people saying hey this next game is perfect for you postbird in province is a vibrant adventure game where you play as marcel the new postbird in town hop on your bike to meet the lovely and quirky people of Montelimes and explore the charming village it is currently available on pc if you love vibrant games this game is up your alley because Gosh, it is vibrant. It is pretty expansive for a short free game. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the biking mechanic, I've got to say, smooth as heck, smooth as heck. I've played some other games with like a biking mechanic, but not as smooth as this. It makes like exploring the town so enjoyable because you can like backpedal, move forward, and it just maneuver around very easily. So if you enjoy games where you can go on a bike, explore the lands, deliver some mail, help some people out, this game is for you. Learn about somebody else's perspective in this next game. One Night Hot Springs is a visual novel set in Japan where you play as Haru, a young transgender woman who is invited by her old friend Minami to spend a night at the hot springs. Haru wants to enjoy the hot springs like everybody else, but 
doesn't want to cause any trouble. In the game, you can help Haru navigate this tricky situation. This game is currently available on PC, Mac, and Linux. Personally, I love how games can explore different topics and allow you to like, experience a different perspective from your own. And I think this game did a really, really good job of that. It introduced a very sensitive topic in a pretty easily digestible way. And I found myself learning a lot more about the transgender experience that I didn't know prior to playing this game. If you're a cinephile who enjoys the modern classics, you will enjoy this next game quite a bit. <laughs> is it that deep, bro? It's a text-based game where you navigate the tricky headspace of a teenager who is going to see a movie with his friend. There's no underlying intent to watching this movie. You're just a cinephile who appreciates modern classics. Who cares if it prominently features a gay romance? Click through several dialogue options to determine how the protagonist processes what's around him. Certain events during the story will trigger mini-game sequences that will affect the protagonist's perspective. This game is playable on the browser. Is it that deep, bro? Is so such a wholesome and cute game like you have to definitely check this out if you're above the age of 13 because there will be some naked cowboy pixelated booty so just be warned and the interactions between like the bros are like so adorable and wholesome you want to make even more friends this nice game is perfect for you melanie in the magic forest is a relaxing no combat game boy adventure game filled with magic quirky characters and late 90s references explore the magic forest as melanie and help your fellow of resonance. Grow some vegetables, make new friends, and most importantly, pet the dog. It can be played on the browser. If you want wholesome, Melanie in the Magic Forest got you some wholesome because this game is full of wholesome. Oh god, not wholesome. Wholesome, my bad. You get to help all the cute characters, befriend them, and like grow crops to help all the townspeople. Like, that's just like the best thing ever. The whole combination of it. Chef's kiss. Love it. Please check this out. So those are all the cozy free games that I have for this video. But make sure to go ahead and press the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more content like this.